Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use SQL Server Management Studio, SSMS, to manage and configure the ODBS database. What is SQL Server Management Studio? SQL Server Management Studio is an integrated environment for managing SQL infrastructure. In ODBS 2, we use SSMS to configure and manage our Microsoft SQL database. Pressing the Docker Compose button inside the ODBS API project in Visual Studio 2019 starts all the ODBS 2 servers. This includes the SQL database server. We need to do this before we can connect to the ODBS database with SSMS. The link to download SQL Server Management Studio will be in the video description. Press the Docker Compose button inside the ODBS API project in Visual Studio 2019 to start the SQL database server. Open SQL Server Management Studio. Enter localhost for the server name. Enter SA as the login. Enter your strong open parenthesis exclamation point close parenthesis password as the password. Keep in mind that it is case sensitive. If you changed the password in docker compose.yml, use that password instead. Press the connect button. The SSMS Object Explorer allows you to view your databases, tables, and stored procedures. Selecting the Open World Server database and then clicking on the New Query button will open a query window for our database. You can type your database query in the query window and press F5 or the Execute button to run your query. You can enter multiple queries in the query window and execute certain ones by highlighting them prior to running them. The SQL Select Query. Use a select query to view data in the database tables. Use the format select column list from table name where list of conditions. You can use a wildcard, an asterisk, in the column list to select all columns. The SQL insert query. Use an insert query to add a row to a database table. Use the format insert into column list values value list. The column list and value list are comma separated and enclosed in parentheses. You can drag the columns folder from under the table name in the UI to get a comma separated list of column names. The SQL update query. Use an update query to update values in a row in a database table. Use the format update table name set column name equals value where ID equals some ID value. You can update multiple column names at once by including multiple column name value pairs separated by commas. The SQL delete query. Use a delete query to remove a row from a database table. Use the format delete from table name where ID equals some ID value. Rows that have other rows pointing to them cannot be removed. They will fail with a foreign key constraint error. 
all of the rows pointing to that row must be removed first. In the setup instructions on GitHub, we create an API key. Let's take a look at how to do that. First, we need to execute the add new customer stored procedure. We must replace the customer name, first name, last name, email, and password. Running this will create a new customer, which gives us our API key. Now let's select the customer GUID from the customer's table. We're using top one so that it only pulls the top row. Now we need to insert a world server into the world server's table. Let's replace the customer GUID, but we'll leave the other default values. We can verify the world server row was added by running a select query. Now we have the API key for use in our open world server starter project. This uh, double dash here is a comment uh, that we can use in case you want to have something that doesn't run. Just in case you accidentally hit F5 and you don't want it to run something over again, it's helpful to either put comments around something like this or just comment out a line with the double dashes. But here we have our API key for use in the ODBS starter project, and so we're ready to continue. If you have any questions related to SQL Server Management Studio and how to use it to manage and configure ODBS 2, Please leave your questions in the comments section. Until next time, see ya.